The Royal Rumble since WWE has started has been one of the biggest pay-per-views ever to kick off the road to WrestleMania. Not only that, but the Royal Rumble has made some big superstars in the past and have led to some crazy matches at WrestleMania. But this year's Royal Rumble will probably be the most unique and different out of all of them, just because there will be no crowd in attendance and there will be a lot of different booking since we have a limited choice of the roster. You see, not a lot of people are here in WWE right now just because of the <clears throat> the cough cough situation that's going on right now. But hey, they are still going to make the best of it. And I am going to talk about today who's the possibilities that can possibly win the Royal Rumble. So hey, let's just let's just kick off and let's talk talking about it. Hey, for the Roy women's Royal Rumble, we'll talk about the women's Royal Rumble first. That. Bianca Belair has a super good chance of winning. She's right now in a currently, um, she's currently in a feud with Bailey, but I don't think, uh, I don't see this kicking off or even ending at the, um, I'm not gonna say, I don't see this feud having a match at the Royal Rumble. They're not too, they're not like good competitors. I mean, they're not bad competitors, but they're just not the type of match I see on the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. It's not that intense. It's just more of a, hey, I hate you, <laughs> and I hate you too. Let's hate each other together type situation. It's not like a Sasha versus Bailey. It's not like anything like that. So if anything, this match would probably be on a pre-show, which is why I think Bianca Belair will possibly enter the Royal Rumble. She's already said it. She's basically confirmed it. Um, so just going in the Royal Rumble, I think she'll have a good showing, but the possibility of her winning the Royal Rumble is high too. She can go on and face Sasha Banks, and Sasha Banks, not to let you guys know, but she doesn't really have a lot of options as well. And I possibly think Bianca Belair could be one of those options. Another girl or woman that can win the Royal Rumble is Rhea Ripley. Now, Rhea Ripley has been in NXT obviously and last year she was at WrestleMania and Charlotte was the Warrior Rumble winner so I know Vince McMahon loves his rematches at WrestleMania so who knows Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley might win the Warrior Rumble and have a rematch against Charlotte at WrestleMania and then they'll pay her back for basically ruining her whole hot steam that she had at the last WrestleMania so my two choices right now is Bianca and Rhea Ripley to win the Women's Royal Rumble. If I had to choose one, probably Rhea Ripley. <laughs> I can't stress this enough, Big E. Now, Big E just came off a victory of beating Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. And last Friday Night SmackDown, he was feuding, well, he's feuding with uh, Apollo Crews right now, and they're probably gonna fight at the Royal Rumble. But the point is, Apollo Crews is feuding, well, is under Roman Reigns now. He's under Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. He's a Paul Heyman guy now. So, does that WWE building the building blocks for Roman Reigns versus Big E at WrestleMania? Does Big E somehow lose the title between uh, with Apollo with like him cheating or something like that? And then, and they, they even foreshadowed it because Apollo Crews' victory over Sami Zayn was using the tights so even foreshadowing that he might cheat his way to the title is kind of good and big e might lose it and he has the opportunity to win the royal rumble and hey big e versus roman reigns would be that type of match and that's just my two cents but i think that is my personal favorite to win the match another personal favorite that a lot of people are saying daniel bryan now I can't stress enough how good this will be just because it's Daniel Bryan, but I seriously don't want to see him win the championship, I mean the um, the Royal Rumble with no crowd because we've been waiting so long, so long for Daniel Bryan to win and then the one time he wins, we aren't there to celebrate and that's just my two cents. I don't really have much to elaborate on that, but hey. Next we have Keith Lee, I don't see any of this, I don't see Keith Lee winning just because 
it'd be it'd be a surprising factor but that's just about it he's already lost to drew mcintyre who will go on drew mcintyre versus keith lee will be a hell of a match but we all know keith lee ain't beating no damn drew mcintyre so it'd be a boring match to me honestly and it just wouldn't be that it just wouldn't be that intriguing so anyway i think that's it for the royal rumble that is my predictions my prediction for the royal rumble winners is Big E and Rhea Ripley. That's my predictions. My name is I King Skies. If you like these videos, like and subscribe. I have more videos on here doing other stuff. This video will probably get like two views, but I don't give a fuck. I'm still doing what I do. Love what I love. My name is I King Skies. If you like these videos, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Screaming we're older, these niggas is pain I am the hero, man, I got them by chains Trust them on the ass like I'm the new king Passing these missions like life is all easy Just screaming to the mic like my name is